Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another review. Now today I'm going to review another Colourpop eyeshadow palette. The palette name is You Had Me At Hello. Now Colourpop launched a lot of palettes and uh, this is the like the second one which I picked up after Yes Please. Yes, I have picked up one more palette which I have still not received it, which I will let you know in future. So this palette is somewhat different than the most of the palettes they launched because it comes with its own mirror and I somewhat like the packaging also. Now this palette looks like this from inside and the, there will be an outer box also. So I've already removed the palette from the box so that it gets much faster and easier for us and all the shade names will be written behind. And I really like the detailed work which they have done on the palette and even the uh, finish of the palette, the outer body is really nice. Like it's not uh, like the Yes Please one I would say. Yes Please one is much lighter in weight. But this is a little heavy and you get, you are getting much more product also here. And you get a mirror. So that's a very good thing. Now earlier I had to carry a separate mirror with the palette. But with this I don't have to do that. Now here you are getting total 12 shades out of which 6 are shimmer and 7 are mattes. Now I'll just give you a closer view of the palette. This is how the palette looks like. This is more of a palette which has all plum shades or all those closer pinky shades. But not very warm, not very cool. It's a mix of shades. So I really like this palette. I don't have something like this which has so many plums. Plums as in it's a plum family I would say. So I really like the layout of this palette really really amazing now before we get started with the palette i will attach the swatches so why don't you see the swatches first and then we'll then i'll come back to you So those were the swatches of the eyeshadows. Now with the eyeshadow palette, I bought a new launch again from the Colourpop that is Supernova Shadows. This is how they look and this is the outer packaging. Now I was very interested and I was very, very much waiting for this product to, like I should receive it and I should just start using it. Because I have seen these in Stila, they are really good. So Colourpop taking out something like this for a very affordable price, I was like, amazing so this will this will cost you seven dollars and uh, i bought it from an instagram page so i will link down the instagram page on the screen also and in my description so that you can go ahead and pick it up whatever shade you like so i for first starters picked up one shade the shade which i'm holding is walk of fame so what i'm going to do is i am going to uh, do the shadowing part with the palette and for the glitter I am going to use this one so that you get an overview how these also work on the eyelids so have I used this one yes I have used but not much but then I am really impressed so let's get started with the look I've already done my whole face it's only my eyes which I have not done. I have already prepped my eyes with a normal concealer and I have just powdered it. So that it's easy for us to blend the shadows. So what I'll do, I'll just get the camera a little near to me so that it's easier for you to make out how the shadows are doing well on my eyes or they are just... So let's get started. So first I'm going to take this corner shade and uh, do a little bit of crease. As you can see, there is a little bit of fall off on the matte shade, so you have to be really careful when you're picking up the product. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm going to take this plummy shade and uh, build up a crease and deepen it up a little bit. Okay, so let me correct myself. I used a Colourpop brush on my first crease. That is why I, you could see a fall off. But then I changed the brush and you can see there is no fall off as such anywhere. So I think it's the brush, the brush which you're using. So test your brushes. If you feel your brush is not working well, then change the brush. Next, I'm going to take uh, this corner shade and just do a little bit of my outer V, just a little bit. As you see now it's deep enough. So let's move on to the glitter shadow. This is how it is. So I'm just going to give you some finger swatch, uh, some light swatch. Before that just push in the bullet like this so that you your brush absorbs some product and then just take it out this is how it is it's a very nice rose goldenish sparkling shadow so let's apply so let's see how it is going to work very quick when you are applying this now I'm just going to take a blending brush and just blend out the edges before it dries down completely So this is how it looks. Now what I'm going to do is finish off my full eye and then come back to you. So guys, after doing the full face and you saw the full eye look also, sorry for my no eyebrows done because I'm not going to parlor. <laughs> so sorry for that. So I just completed the look. So I just want to forget to mention that I did my lower lash line with the, uh, the deepest shade in the palette and uh, completed the look. And I thought I'll do my inner corners in front of you. So I'm going to take this shade from this shade from the palette it's a very nice highlighting shade I would say and I'm just going to do my inner corners so I'm done so let's let me give you my final thoughts now the supernova shadows will cost you seven dollars and you're getting 4.7 grams of product now these shadows don't crucify or change their shade during the day so you after applying the shadow be very quick if you want to blend or add anything else to it after that so that it blends easily or else it's it's one of the shadows which can be applied single-handedly and you don't have to play around with many shadows so it's a very nice poppy glitter this is like the perfect glitter in a this form so i really like it giving a big thumbs up and i am going to pick up more shades from this range sooner so big 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 thumbs up and yes for this so you can just go ahead and buy this 
let's move on to the palette itself i really like this palette also because this is my kind of palette which has some warmer shades and cooler shades and the best part about this palette is they really the color pop people they just lay down the shades really well so this is one of the best part and uh, if you ask me any favorite shades on the palette it will be very difficult for me to choose because all the shades complement each other and i can't choose one shade but in glitter if you specifically ask this is my favorite glitter i will just give you one swatch of this shade this is how it is and it's a really nice mauve shade so it really complements the palette also so i really like the palette and uh, it doesn't have much fall off like i used the wrong brush so i'm just mentioning it to you if you use the right brush like this one i used so there was no fall off at all so i really like that part and the shimmer shades are also good yes i couldn't show you the shimmer shade on my eyelid today because i wanted to do show you this one so but then the shimmer shades are also very smooth and really nice the consistency of the palette is exactly the way other palettes are like the yes please palette and all but i would say the shimmers in this palette are much more um smooth and much more softer than the yes please palette i would really highlight that point because here the shimmers don't have fall off as such but the other palette has a little bit of fall off so that much i can just give a little bargain to any palette whatsoever so this palette is really like 100% perfect for me and good part is like it comes with its own mirror so it is 18 dollars like you're just paying 2 dollars more for this palette so i really uh, suggest anyone buying this one after yes please so big thumbs up and uh, thank you color pop to get these two things in my life i really like it so girls i hope you loved the review it was a very short review because i wanted to shoot this review asap but uh sorry for the delay so girls i hope you love it please subscribe to my channel and everything will be mentioned in my description for your info so stay tuned for more and more bye and take care